All right, so we're going to go and start using master pages now. But first, I wanted to show you why we use bleed in a document. So this bleed right here sets up an area that toner and other uh, items will print to. So like if you are printing on a printer that accepts bleed setting, which most, uh, most large-scale printing shops would have, you would want to have a bleed setting. That's just in case you're using a custom-sized paper and the, the, the printer doesn't actually cut on the edge of where your paper cuts. Um, so you have a bleed that makes it print over the top. That way that when the paper gets cut, you're guaranteed to have ink go all the way to the edge of the page. So you bleed ink off of the page so that you could make sure that the edges of your pages, pages get the ink that they need. So let's use a master page because what we want to do is we want to add page numbers to our book. So let's go into a master. So I'm going to click it and you'll notice now I'm trying to scroll up and down. That's my wheel trying to scroll up and down and I can't go anywhere. This is because these are the master pages and to show you that if I come in here and I put a uh, frame and now it appears on all left side pages and if I alt click or option click on the mat to drag it over to the right side now you'll notice it shows up on all right side pages uh, so editing a master page will edit all the pages that the master is a part of uh, before we edit let's go into color and let's get into our swatches down here and let's add some new swatches Uh, cut. On just a rectangle in the middle of all the design. We did set that as a background, of course. We can click and drag around the entire area, choose the weave, and make that background the entire layout. And we can also, for example, add page numbers that are automatically updated, which we'll be doing in this lesson. So let's go ahead and add page numbers to the game master. And so I'm going to navigate down to the here, and I'm just going to click and drag the rectangle just for a background for this. So what we want to do before we add a page number to this is let's go to our swatches and let's go to new color swatch. So this is going to allow us to add color swatches that we can edit. Um, you, there's a lot of different colors in here. Um, so if you go to like this one, a Pantone with metallic coating, you'll see that there's a lot of different colors that you can use. Um, so let's just click on a few of them and you don't have to click on the same one that I click on. Uh, and I'm going to get like this one right here is a good one. Let's add that one. Uh, if you, so we added that one to our, to our swatches library. Um, and now we want to add in, uh, other, other ones. So I'm going to just add in stuff that looks like the Ashley color scheme, just to make it a little bit easier on us once we get into our lookbook. Okay. So if we want to add a page number to a master page, that's great. We're going to come in here, and I want to do it with a little bit of color. So I'm going to zoom in to the bottom, and I'm going to use this box to come right here and create a rectangle. And I'm going to take it all the way to the bleed because last time you remember I told you uh, the reason we have a bleed is so that we can, or earlier I told you that we have a bleed, so what I want to do is I want to bring in a box for our page number. And I'm going to take it all the way out to the bleed. So in case our cutter cuts the page a little bit long, we have ink all the way down to your bleed. Um, and I'm going to have no stroke. I'm just going to use this red Ashley color. Now I do want, I do want to have it on both sides. So I'm just going to alt click or copy and paste it over so that I can have it on both sides. And it's just gonna set right flush with our margin over here. 
and take it all the way down to the to the bleed line. Okay. Now, when we type out our page numbers, you don't want to type out the actual number because if I type out four and put it right here, then every page on the left side is going to be labeled four. So I'm going to create a text box, and I want it to go from side to side of this, so I'm going to put it right above it. And I'm going to go to Type, the Type menu, Insert Special Characters, and I'm going to go to Markers. And what I wanted to click is current page number. That's going to give me a letter A. That's a placeholder. Don't worry about why it's the letter A. It's just a placeholder for this. And I'm going to click center. And I want to then take it directly on to this. And let's make it uh, page color or paper color or white. And then we can take and alt click and drag that over. And throw it right on top of this one, and you have the same, the same deal. Okay, so we might have to move it down just a hair because it's right at the top of that. So I move it. I'm going to click and move it down twice, uh, and that's going to give us our pages. So when we go out to like page one, now you can see that. It has, have, it has our page number. So if you look through, you can see that our page numbers are on each page, uh, thanks to our master page. Now, you don't want to have a page number on the first page. So there's a few ways that you can do this to get it off of there. And you can right-click on page one in your pages panel, and you can click uh, Apply Master to Pages, and you can select None, because the None master page is just a blank, generic page. Uh, so you can see that I've taken that off. You can also come for like when we do 16 up here at the top, you can click and drag the none master on top of 16 and it'll take it off. Uh, so that is how you can set up master pages to use for your document and add in your page numbers. So all of our pages are going to have these uh, page numbers on them. We may cover them up at some point during our, our use in the lookbook, so don't feel bad if you cover them up during your lookbook uh, project. But that's the generic or general way to use master pages. All right, so I'll see you in the next lesson.